Hey guys, Richard here. Um, I just wanted to do a little video to talk to you, to talk to you about uh, my most recent recording session in Budapest. Now for me, this stuff is one of the most exciting things to do as a composer and it was one of the things that really pushed me to get to. This was like, this was the peak of the mountain for me which was writing my own music and then having amazing talented musicians record it and it feels as good as it sounds. So, um, a little bit of a backstory, this album is commissioned by uh, Vic Goody uh, from Elephant Music and he got me, uh, Richard Schreiber and another very talented composer called Kieran Birch, some of you may know him and his track No Control and Chaos, which is used tons over many trailers, uh, to write an album of string music, uh, the aim being strings for thrillers or action, action trailers. So we got set about writing it, and then once we'd written our tracks, we then started organising the session. Now, for the organising the session, we had a, a very, a very cool producer called Arun Seti. Uh, what he does is obviously he has a lot of jobs on the day, but he also he books the studio, sorts out the fixer. And the fixer is the guy or girl who. Um, organizes the musicians and the studio timing and the engineers and things like that so in this case he got hold of Sandor in Budapest and Sandor he booked the Hungarian Studio Orchestra and Pannonia Studios and Arun also booked our accommodation and our flights so me Kieran and Vic and Arun would all be able to fly over and have a great time. Uh, so once we was, once that was all booked, whilst Arun was doing that, me and Kieran were doing our score preparation. Now there's two ways of going about it. Me and Kieran both did different ways this time. So Kieran sent his his files, so uh, uh, his logic files, over to uh, Sandor, and Sandor gave it to an orchestrator who takes all of the MIDI information from Logic and then transcribes it. So you've got a con conductor score. I don't have mine here. Um, whereas in this instance, I chose to do that myself. So I tidied. So what what I would do there is like you tidy up all the MIDI information so there's no overlapping notes. That the time is all nice and tight. So that then when you take that MIDI information into the score window of Logic, you can then print it or send it to Sibelius with a very minimal editing. You still have to add in like the dynamic markings and the articulations and anything like that and any particulars so that the musicians know exactly what they're doing. And then once you've got your scores, you send them over to Sandor. He prints them all out. So that was great. Uh, also, what you have to do is you, well, we had to send out the stems for the engineer and the tempos and the titles for the tracks so that all the Pro Tools sessions are all set up. So once we'd done that and we got the guy ahead from Sandor, we then flew over to Budapest. Uh, obviously, we had a, a, you know, a few celebrations because it's great fun over there. And uh, we arrive at the studio a little bit early to meet the conductor Peter uh, and meet the engineer Thomas and meet Sandor and meet the musicians and we sit there as a wonderful control room and we have, including the conductor, 33 incredibly talented musicians playing our music. You know, from the get-go, so yeah, I did the first few tracks uh, and it's just a case of uh, playing along with the guide tracks or with the stems and following the score. So I'm sat there, the musicians are playing, I'm following along with the score, seeing how they play. It takes one take, maybe one take just to warm into it, and then the second take is usually bang on. Um, it is one of the most phenomenal feelings hearing all these musicians playing the music that you write. You know, as, as much as sample libraries can and are amazing at the moment, hearing the real deal is phenomenal. It's it's the dream. Um, so yeah, we played our we play. They went through our my four tracks and Kieran's five tracks. Uh, then we did some uh, effects with them, all of which we scored out beforehand, so the musicians had something to go with. And throughout this whole process, I'm communicating with Thomas, the engineer. I'm communicating with Peter, the conductor to get the best out of the situation. At the end of the day, the stuff that we got was phenomenal. Um, I've got a couple of videos which I'll include in a little snippet here um, so you know kind of what we're dealing with. Um, and then that, yeah, that was the session and it was absolutely amazing. Um, then what we do, once we've got all the files, uh, Arun then takes it, 
onto a hard drive and then sends it to an editor to be comped. Now comping is where they go through all the takes using the notes that Arun makes during the session, finding the best takes, uh, doing any editing that's necessary. Uh, now this of course is something that both me and Kieran can do but it's incredibly time consuming and if we can get somebody else on board to do it who is much better, much faster than us at doing it then that's what we're going to do. So we did that, uh, we've got Taz Matar doing that and he is phenomenal, uh, he's also an amazing uh, uh, mixing engineer as well. So he's comping our stuff at the moment as I'm talking right now and then once he's comped it he'll send us the files, that's me and Kieran, and then we will mix them into our sample library beds and do our final snips and things like that and final editing and then it's off to be mastered by Toby Mason and there's the album. Now this whole experience is completely different in my view to the way you would normally go about this stuff which was you would write it you get feedback once the feedback and your writing are done you then send it to get mixed and mastered which is fantastic i absolutely love that but hearing the live musicians play is um, amazing it's it's kind of like it's another drive to do more writing because you think okay if i can do this again you then get experience you go okay the musicians we're really good at this stuff, so let's put more of that stuff in in the writing. And the musicians weren't uh, weren't getting the sound I wanted for this, so maybe I'll I'll put the leave that to the sample libraries, or maybe I won't write that style so much. Uh, but generally, me and Kieran were, you know, they'd play it, and me and Kieran would look at each other and go, "Yeah, that was uh, amazing. Thank you." You know, uh, yeah. So the reason I'm recording this is because I want to show you guys. At least uh, unveil this whole process of being a, 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 a composer for a living you know this is the stuff that you can do and it's so much fun and that's the only reason we're doing this because writing music is awesome it's fun and it's what we want to do we want to spend our time doing and if you can get live musicians involved as well who really bring life into your music then that's amazing so uh, I've, what I did also, I've never done this before, I did the uh, uh, short little snippets of every, every step it took me to get to Budapest uh, and then a few second videos of the recording session. So I've just chucked those in at the end just so you've got a nice little ending for the video. Right, uh, so yeah, don't forget to click subscribe on the channel and I'm going to be doing more and more videos and blog posts like this where I talk about the actual workings of being a professional trailer composer. Thanks guys.